Signs the narcissist is beginning to feel helpless as they watch their world crumble around them. Have you ever wondered why the narcissist in your life is going to lose it all? You'll learn how to recognize the warning signs of a narcissist deteriorating control and intervene effectively to prevent further harm from occurring in this video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to assisting anyone who has had negative encounters with narcissists. I will discuss my own personal struggles with narcissists, as well as the experiences of others who have been through similar situations. There is room for everyone. I'd want to say hi and appreciate you stopping by if you stumbled upon my channel through this video. Please take a moment to say hi and introduce yourself in the comments section. And it is wonderful to see you back if you are a regular viewer. The time and attention you've given today are really appreciated. Simply subscribe and activate the bell to receive an alert whenever I post a new video during the week. Alright, let's get started. Narcissists get high from being in power, so they'll do whatever it takes to keep that perch, no matter how much it frustrates you. To what end? Naturally, narcissistic fulfillment. They'll stop at nothing to maintain control over you, because doing so feeds their narcissistic need for attention. In this video, I discuss narcissistic supply at length, but the key takeaway should be that narcissists have a profound deficit of self-worth. A lack of self-worth and an accompanying lack of an eternal sense of value is typically the outcome of past experiences of trauma, neglect, or other similar factors. I've heard, though, that overindulgence can also bring on this condition. In many ways, they seem great on the outside, but inside there's nothing. Because of this, they have a hard time trusting others and are often looking for ways to take charge. Then, they need something we call supply to keep their way of life going. In this case, the supply is anything that makes them feel better about themselves. So supply can be money, a big prestigious job, and all the trappings that feed narcissists' egos, such as living in the right place, having the right spouse, or whatever, but most often, and a lot of the time, supply comes in the form of something darker, deeper, and worse, and that is devaluing people, debasing people, treating people poorly, because then they have that sense of control. The narcissistic injury is a deep emotional scar that every narcissist carries, telling them, I'm not good. Inside of them is a scared, small child waiting to be revealed if only we could find a method to peel back the layers in real time. The child's afraid of being found out and thinks they will lose everything as a result. They'll do anything to keep their narcissistic injury a secret. Furthermore, I've witnessed firsthand how rubbing salt in someone's wounds, which is their narcissistic injury, could easily set them off into a rage. It happens many times. When it comes to discarding, it doesn't matter if the narcissists are the ones doing it or the other side, which means the narcissists are the ones being rejected. It doesn't matter. During the discard phase, the narcissist's anger is often triggered, which is a symptom that the narcissist is truly losing control. In this case, the narcissist will be so angry that it drives everyone around them crazy. They act out like toddlers, but they're actually grown-ups. When they lose their temper, it's clear that they're struggling to cope with the pressures of their situation. Similar to a two-year-old throwing a tantrum in an attempt to get control over their parents. A toddler's line of reasoning would go something like this. I know that if I trip and cry loud enough, my parents will give in and buy me whatever it is that I want. To be sure, that's typical narcissist behavior. In every sense of the word, it's identical. The reasoning is identical, essentially. When parents give in to a two-year-old's tantrum, the child learns that in the future, they will receive what they want if they cry even louder and for a longer period of time. Exactly the same thing happens here. For this reason, an outburst of narcissistic rage can be taken as evidence that the narcissist is about to lose it. At this point, the narcissist may expose their true colors by diminishing your worth. If the narcissist feels you deserve to be called names like awful mom or deadbeat dad, they will start calling you those things. It's important to keep in mind that the narcissist's keen perception is what allowed them to love bombing you in the first place. If you and the narcissist have been romantically involved for a significant amount of time, such as husband and wife, the narcissist will be well aware of your weak spots and prepared to take advantage of them. Yes, 
but your children exactly. They will threaten you along this line. Now you see why I am taking the children from your care. The last time you saw them was the last time you will see them. Because I will not be providing you with alimony, you will be forced to live on the streets. Simply put, a Synep card will be issued to you. It's the sort of thing you can probably think of when narcissists are losing their control and attempt to get it back. And please tell me in the comments if you have ever observed a narcissist ranting, and you knew deep down that it was just another attempt to grab control over you. When they are feeling out of control, they may try to love bombing you by saying things like, I can't live without you, or I'm going to take all of these things from you. Don't act like this, please. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? What a ridiculous situation. The least we can do is talk to each other. There has been no trouble with our ability to communicate. Please explain why you wish to utilize that strange app to arrange childcare. How difficult, completely absurd. Definitely not what we need. So, they go back to an earlier time, where they may have tried to woo you with their personality. They return to the behaviors that led to their ensnarement in the first place. So, let's put an end to the narcissist bargaining attempts. If you've been affected by a narcissist and feel like you need a safe space to talk to others who get it, you're welcome to join this channel and let's learn and grow together. The fact that you are here tells me exactly what I need to know. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe by clicking the button and checking the box to receive push notifications. Your being here means a lot to me. I'm so happy you stopped here. Just remember that you've stumbled into a great time to begin bargaining for your dream existence. In any case, the next video will be out soon, so I'll see you then. Thanks.